Nathan pays $17 when he buys five notebooks and three pens. Sarah pays $10.50 when she buys three notebooks books and two pens. Write down simultaneous equations and use them to find the cost of a notebook and the cost of a pen. Right, let N be the cost of a notebook and P be the cost of a pen. So in the case of Nathan, that's five notebooks and three pens of a total cost of $17. Now you could change that into dollars, just into cents if you wanted to. In the case of, uh, I call that equation one, in the case of Sarah, she buys three notebooks and two pens and that costs $10.5. Dollars. Call that equation two. Now you either need to make those two the same, or these two the same. It's probably easier to make these two the same. So we'll multiply the top one by two. So that gives ten n plus six p, and two times seventeen is thirty-four. Don't forget the last number as well. And we need to multiply the bottom number by three. So it's going to give nine n plus six p is equal to 31.5. Now the signs are the same so we need to subtract 10n minus 9n gives me n so that's good. 6p minus 6p gives me nothing this is why it's called the method of elimination and 34 minus 31.5 gives me 2.5. Now in order to find the cost of a pen we need to substitute n in, in is equal to 2.5 into either equation 1 or 2. We'll go for equation 1 so we get 5 times 2.5 plus 3p is equal to 17. So that gives me 12.5 plus 3p is equal to 17. Now you can use your calculator, so you should be worried with the decimals here. Taking 12.5 from both sides, we're going to get that 3p is equal to 4.5, and then dividing by 3, we get that p is equal to 1.5. We should just check in 2. So checking in 2, we're going to get 3 times n, so it's 3 times 2.5, plus 2 times p, which is 1.5, which gives me 7.5 plus 3, and 7.5 plus 3 gives me 10.5, which is what I wanted, so we know we're correct. So, n, the cost of a notebook is $2.50, putting back in money now, and the cost of a pen is $1.50. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to take a practical problem and if there's two unknowns, then use a simultaneous equations to solve them. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.